Well, it's December 17th, and that means it's time for some more sexy Dutch lovin' here on Lazy Game Reviews, I suppose. And today's subject of awesomeness is Sint Nicolas, a 1998 MS-DOS game by Netherlands-based Veering Software. I must admit, as an American, I know next to nothing about the tradition of St. Nicholas. But according to the game's website, every year St. Nicholas makes the journey from Spain to Holland to deliver presents and gingerbread cookies to the children. On the night of December 5th, St. travels over the rooftops and drops presents and cookies through the chimneys. Sounds an awful lot like the Santa Claus I'm aware of, and I can only imagine there is an occasional turf war if both happen to show up at the same place simultaneously. Or maybe Dutch kids just get double the presents when that happens. That would be awesome. Whatever the case, this game is based on the Dutch tradition of Santa Claus, and that alone makes it pretty awesome. I'm tired of seeing Santa Claus games. Even more awesome is the fact that it's made by Veering Software, who made a bunch of games. Like, this is a bunch of napkins? Yeah, they made a bunch of games. It's totally the same thing, except not at all. Never mind. I'm a fan of each of their games, like Charlie the Duck and Super Worms. Sure, most of them tend to be more than a little bit inspired by Nintendo games like Super Mario Bros. and Super Mario Kart, but they've still got unique twists, and St. Nicholas is no exception. The game starts off with a main menu screen, allowing you to do things that menus typically allow you to do, mainly. Options, options, and more options. But perhaps most importantly is the option to read the story, and that is that St. Nicholas has been robbed. Frick, what's with these Christmas characters and terrible home security recently? Anyway, the thieves have taken Scent's big sack, but they're amazingly clumsy and drop the sack's contents all over the place. Naturally, it's up to you to do the incredibly tedious job that really should have been delegated to the authorities of grabbing all the stolen loot. You start the game off with the scent himself, some lives, a time limit, no cookies, and no score. What a sad state of affairs. The goal is to grab all the gingerbread cookies and presents and return them to the chimney tops before the night is over. You'll find these scattered around the level, but keep note of the order in which you gather the presents. You can only deliver certain presents to certain houses, which is marked by the color on the chimney. For instance, if a red present is next in the queue behind you, you have to deliver it to the red house. You can't skip ahead. You have your standard buttons for movement, running, and jumping. If you don't like them, the button layout can be changed and the controls themselves feel quite solid. I have no real complaints here. The graphics are existent and colorful and well-drawn, and the sound effects are Super Nintendo-y, which is pretty cool. In fact, the whole feel of the game is a bit Super Mario World in its style and feel. Not too surprising considering the other games by these guys. There is no music though, which is a shame. But whatever, just play some of your own stuff if you're really desperate. Another thing that kind of sucks is that if you die by falling off the roof, running out of time, or hurting yourself too much, then you have to start the entire level over again. The rage induced by only having one house left and falling off a rooftop because of trying to avoid a stupid bird is incredible. Yeah, that's right, you have these birds flying around. That's fine in theory, I have nothing against birds. And in fact, some of them even drop health and cookies for you. An admirable bird occupation if I've ever heard one. But the thing is, they also take away your health. And if you happen to jump on the Mario style, it actually takes away points. Not only that, but sometimes they'll steal the presents or gingerbread. These birds, they just suck, plain and simple. Plus, they make handy extra platforms at the most opportune times. So I just stomp on their little heads every chance I get. Sure, if you don't kill any of them, you get 10,000 points at the end of the level, but screw that. I'm Sint Nicholas, and birds should fear me, not molest me. Oh well, if you do fail, and you will, you will at least get a nice worthwhile ending screen for your trouble. <laughs> Sorry children, no presents this year. St. Nicholas got robbed and killed by a little songbird. Another cool feature is if you have two or more minutes left when you finish a level, you get sent to a bonus level, full of lots of tasty gingerbread cookies and precarious platforms that fall apart. Collect 100 cookies without dying and you earn an extra life. Yet another bonus is if you eat the chocolate letters S-I-N-T in any level, then you get another life. Chocolate equals life in St. Nicholas, a fact that I can live with. And that's the game. 
It's a simple game, a platform game, with solid controls, some varying gameplay, and stupid birds. Really stupid birds. Not gonna set the gaming world on fire or anything like that, but for a freeware Christmas game, I can't complain one bit. I mean, I, I could, but I choose not to because I see no real reason. It's a perfectly acceptable little arcade platformer, and I like it even if I'm not the most familiar with the Dutch tradition behind it. You can download it or play it in a browser on its website, which I'll link to below this video, and there are even a couple other versions of the game with some gameplay tweaks. I'm not gonna cover them here, they don't stray too far from this formula, but they're interesting to take a look at, so go to the Veering Software website and check the St. Nicholas games out. They're fun, and they're easy to pick up and play, and they're Christmassy. At this time of year, what more could you ask for?